the uh, reporter who I worked for was very well known in the community because he busted open all these cases. So they need a, <laughs> an unknown person to, to be able to come in and do all the undercover work. Oh. And I was from out of town <laughs> and I had a law degree and they had been like every story that they ever aired, they get sued they get on. Sued. Um, that's just the nature of the beast. So they liked me and they hired me and I went down there and my first assignment now, mind you, like I did live in D.C., but really I grew up in a little town in Connecticut, <laughs> right? So I show up and I'm like in my Talbot's head headband and like my little skirt. And they're like, OK, tonight you're going to go to a strip club. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? A strip club? They're like, yeah, we think um, we have it on good authority that the fire inspectors, the on-duty fire inspectors aren't actually inspecting inspecting buildings. They're at strip clubs. So they put me in like a red wig and high heels and... Like I'd never been to a strip club, <laughs> nonetheless, by myself as a female. And I had, you know, the camera and the eyeglasses, the no camera kidding. and the purse and all this stuff. And we got lucky and we caught them. And um, in a weird twist, um, we're getting ready to air this story. And this giant chemical warehouse burns down in Houston. I mean, a huge fire. The whole waterfront practically burns to the ground. And so we're like, you know what? Let's um, let's get the records on when that building was last inspected by the fire officials. And sure enough, again, complete luck. Um, they had falsified the records and said that the night that I had them all at the strip club, the they, were they were inspecting that building. That specific yeah, building. I mean, so it was like a great story and super fun. And then there were many other crazy story 